2008, media entrepreneur Kathy Kaler established Chai FM, the first global English-speaking Jewish talk radio station. Originally broadcasting only to a Johannesburg audience, the station has now created an international footprint through the live streaming of their shows. This is 101.9 Chai FM News. In 2005, I was driving with my mother and she said to me, Kathy, I had a dream last night and I feel compelled to tell you what it was about. She says, I never remember my dreams. And I said, well, tell me. She said, uh, I dreamt that I heard you on the radio and that was uh, what started it. Four days later, there was Pesach uh, 2005. I didn't even know who to call. Went to the phone book and at the back of the phone book are all those blue pages and there was something called the Independent Communications Authority and that was my first call. And I went from a background in marketing to not knowing anything about radio. Anyone who could teach me something about radio, I wanted to talk to them. Kathy approached me very many years ago and she said to me, you're working at the SABC. I want to do a radio program. Are you interested? I said, Kathy, I mean, that's an impossible feat. How are you going to set about doing it? She says, I want to do it and I am going to do it. And I did not in my wildest dreams ever think that she would succeed the way she has. And I must tell you that the effort and the time that she has put in to achieving what she has achieved is mind-boggling. You know, as they say, a ness, a miracle. It's important to have mentors and people who have done it before and people who can show you the way. Part of that process in terms of radio started with me when I was calling up John Burks and Stan Katz and I met with Izzy Kirsch who uh, looked across the table at me and said, how can I help you? And I said, teach me the model. I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. And uh, he did. I went and I spent time with uh, the CEO of Prime Media, uh, Terry Falkvane, and I'll always be grateful for that because there are things that I have learned along the way from such people. I came into the studio about uh, two years ago now um, for an interview and Kathy phoned me after the interview. She actually wasn't on the show at that particular day and said to me, have you ever considered uh, being on radio? And I said, I'm ridiculous. It's not what I do. It's not what I'm capable of. And she said, you know what, I think you are. Come in and let's chat about it. And uh, we did that. And we've been working together for about two years now. It's just under two years. And it has been the most unbelievable, unbelievable amount of fun. And uh, you, you get to know a person under these circumstances because it's three hours that, although are a tremendous amount of fun, it is very, very, um, it can be stressful. You've got to be on top of your game and uh, you have to understand how the other person thinks in order to, to have a successful show. 11 minutes past four o'clock on the high drive. You with Sasha Star and we'll be back, right back. Today, you can call me what is termed an observant Jew. I wasn't always like that. There are times when I was as far from Judaism as a Jew can possibly get. I was looking for spirituality, and in Judaism we generally don't talk about spirituality and meditation and things like that. And that's what I was looking for. But when I found my Judaism, it became something that defines me. Chai FM is the Jewish community radio station, but it goes way beyond that. And uh, in fact, very often we test it out. If it's a biblical question, if it's a purely biblical question, that's when we get the sense of how many non-Jewish listeners are participating. And if it's a more traditional Jewish custom, um, one of the Jewish uh, customs, then we see much, many more Jews participating. Because Jews aren't allowed to proselytize, we're not allowed to go out and actively convert people. Why? Because God is everybody's God. Because of that, our teachings have largely remained internal. It went from teacher to pupil and from you know, father to child. 
it's not like that anymore. High FM, because of the range of programs that we do, all of a sudden you're getting insight into Jewish outlook, which has never been secret, but there was just no reason to share it before. The same with religious teachings, our spiritual teachings, the Kabbalah, you know, the Mishnah, the Torah, the Tanakh, Jewish history. What we think is normal is actually not normal. And uh, it's, I think that it's very entertaining as well for people. I think what's special about live radio, instead of the complications, is that uh, it feels as though there's always someone with you. It's a very personal medium. You turn that uh, knob on in the car, and all of a sudden there's someone with you in the car. You don't, can't necessarily see them. But uh, people often tell me it feels as though I'm speaking directly to them. So it's a very personal medium, it's a very intimate medium. And uh, I think that radio, whilst the internet has become so prolific and, and people uh, tend to you know, send out videos on, on social media and things like that, I think that radio definitely has a place because it's far more immediate and a much better way to interact with one's listeners than television, for example. One of the points that motivated me to keep going aside from this, dr this drive, was if I could let one person connect with God in the way that I had connected with God, because it's all internal. And uh, if Chai if FM could change the life of one person, it would be worth doing. Fortunately, it's changed the life of many, many, many thousands of people. When I was interviewed uh, by Kathy Keller back in 2010, she said to me, what is it that you want to do? I said, I want to do production. She said to me, what if there is no production job? What are you going to do? Because of you limiting yourself, this is a community radio station, throw in your skills, learn everything that you can learn, and then you can see where you go. I said, okay. Well, if that's the case, let's look at, because of in the near future, when I'm 40, 45, I want to you know, run a station. Then she says, it's a good one let's then start preparing you for that so that you meet your goals, you, you meet your targets as well. My Derek Eretz, if I close my eyes and I picture myself, I see a little person who's got one opportunity to do as much good in the world and have an impact in the world and there's certain mechanisms through which you can have a positive impact. Radio is one of them. And I think, that, I think that that's a very big part of it. And the bigger part of it is my relationship with God. Chai FM is a miracle story. I can tell you stories that will make your hair stand up, but you'll have to wait for the book. Mm -hmm.